Hi, welcome to my video on the DJI Remote Control Extension Rod. Now, I purchased this um, unit from Amazon UK at £64. Now you can pick it up on eBay at £54, but the time when this video is going out, they've reduced this um, DJI stick now down to £50 and I think that's due to the release of the Osmo Action 3. Now hopefully you can use this with the Osmo Action 3 and this is how it looks when it's out of the box. It's a compact selfie stick but it's a three-in-one selfie stick so it's a selfie stick, a handle and a tripod all in one with the remote that you get with it. But I'll come to back the remote later on in the video because I have done a second video about how to connect the remote to your DJI Osmo Action 2. Hopefully the same process will be done with the Action 3 as well. It's made out of this black ABS plastic with this nice rubber hand. Now the total length when collapsed is six and a half inches by roughly about just over an inch uh, across in diameter. I'll start at the top and work to the bottom. At the top here we get we have a quarter inch um, steel screw thread here. At the very top here we have this platform here out of rubber and at the very top there are two notches at the top here or two points here. Now they go in with the ball head mount. Now if you buy the Action 2 with the screen combo you get this. If you buy the Action 2 with just the battery combo you're going to have to fork out extra money to buy this because you do not get this with the battery combo which is a shame. The entire mount up at the top here is made out of a aluminium stroke steel construction at the top. We come down to the actual shaft itself which comes out into three sections. The shaft comes out and that is made out of an aluminium. We have a groove on either side of the shaft and I liked what DJI has done with this. Each between each point or each separate um, shaft point on there on the stem they've actually had these plastic collars in there which are the same color as the shaft itself which is this matte black so they've put matte black plastic collars in between each section and now we come down to the body of the actual selfie stick and this is made out of as I stated before an ABS plastic. Now I have to say when you fully extend the shaft which is not uh, a long length but I'll come to that later on in the video and you tap on the actual body here the plastic has this kind of hollow cheap sound to it um, the selfie stick doesn't feel cheap in the hand but you tap there it has this kind of cheap hollowy sound to it that, but that's only when we fully extend the uh, stem itself now we come to the holder which has the remote in there and this is magnetic so there's no kind of grooves cut into either the remote or the selfie stick itself to hold this so it just simply clips in there with a mag by a magnet not a very strong magnet and then we come down to the legs which it has a three legs as you can see and that's out of plastic as well the ABS plastic which has this kind of rubber coating right round. Now known that this has not been mentioned on any other review this kind of rubber attracts dust so bear that in mind because I've only took this out of the box and played around with it for a bit for only a week and it's dusty very dusty. It does have some grip to it so I give it that. Now when you open out the legs, as you can see straight away, the stem does protrude down in the middle, between the middle. 
So when you're going to place this on uneven ground, you're going to have to make sure you pull the stem right out. The legs itself have this kind of webbing on there on each leg to give it strength and they clip together quite good. Now, when it comes to placing on the ball head on there, like I said to you before, there are two pinch points at the top, two little points, uh, which coincide with the two holes on either side of where the, the quarter inch screw thread is. Now there is also dots, so there's a dot there, which is hard to pick up on the camera, but it is there. There's a dot on that side, and there's a dot on the other side here. And the same with the selfie stick, there's a dot here, a white dot, and there's a white dot on the other side as well. Now these coincide with each other. Now when placing the ball head onto the selfie stick, you want to match up those dots together. And you also want the groove part of the ball head facing you or facing the remote on the same um, line as the remote control. Once you've done that, you simply take the screw here, which is a large screw, which I forgot to mention about the top, but there's a large screw wheel here and you simply screw the wheel, turn the wheel, sorry, screw the wheel, turn the wheel and clockwise, no, it's all anti-clockwise to screw down. <laughs> so we screw down there and that will lock now the ball head to the selfie stick and that's it. So the camera will be facing you. But this is what it looks like when it's fully extended. Now, when it's fully extended, the actual length between, they state from the top of the platform here at the very top without the ball head. So it's basically from that point to the end of the selfie stick. They state it's 17 inches. Well, it's not 17 inches, it's about 15 inches. So I've lost two inches there somewhere, but that's the length when it's fully extended. Now the true length on my channel, I always go by the actual length of the stem itself because you're holding the selfie stick and you'll lose inches off that where your hand grips the legs stroke handles here and also you're you're losing it with the ball head as well so between the actual stem between these two points here to me is the true extension length and that's only eight and a half inches so please be aware of that and the compact nature of this selfie stick simply means that you can just pop this in a coat pocket, uh, no problem. Obviously, it depends how deep your coat pocket is, but it's it's pocketable, and also you can just place this in a bag. And it's such a lightweight um, selfie stick without the camera and the ball head on there. It weighs 115, 115, 150 grams. I am losing it today, folks. I'm losing it, but bear with me. 150 grams without the camera on there and the ball head. So it's a very, very light, uh, compact selfie stick. Uh, this is how the DJI selfie stick looks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna call it that for the rest of the video because the name is just too long for such a small selfie stick. This is how it would look on an even surface, like a tabletop or even ground. Now, as I said to you earlier on, that the stem protrudes, it's one of these three-in-one tripod selfie sticks that when you um, extend out the legs, the, the actual stem protrudes down like a fourth leg to it. So if you're on e uneven ground, I suggest that you have it in, like in this position. Now, if it's on even ground if it, and you want and you want to give it more extra stability, you can protrude the stem down and it's hard to pick that up folks, but you can protrude the stem down to touch to give it a fourth leg 
if you want to. Doesn't have a very wide footprint when it's on the ground. It's quite um, small and narrow. So um, be aware of that. I do like how the legs um, come out. I'll have to show you that way. Come out at such a, a shallow angle like this because some selfie sticks when they're um, it's compact ones which I have reviewed in the past seem to have a higher angle and they sit quite tall um, from the ground this one sits quite almost flat uh, it would have been nice if they could get this have positionings on these legs so you can get it nice and flat even with the with the stem protruding up that would be brilliant if they could do that DJI could do that probably they can do that in the next um literation of this particular selfie stick they can do that and place notches on the legs so we can get different kind of stances but it's quite good even for doing how it is at the moment and the rubber that they've placed on each of the bottom of these legs here gives it even on this wooden table here makes it quite grippy so it is a very good if you're going to use this indoors it's really good to use um, quite sturdy and because it only extends up to a certain length I'm going to be out of the picture with that but because it only extends up to a certain length and get that up of eight and a half inches you could use this in um, a breeze in, in a breeze um, you could use this because it sits quite relatively low to the ground so and because the DJI Action 2 is such a small camera, small but a weighty camera. Uh, you will be all right to use it in that kind of weather. Now, one thing I'm going to be asked, or be asked, <laughs> is can you place an action camera on this selfie stick? And the answer is yes, you can. You're going to have to buy that attachment and you can pick these up anywhere from eBay, AliExpress, Amazon they'll cost you anywhere between two dollars or two pounds all the way up to if you want to get an aluminium one which will cost you about eight quid or ten quid for it you get yourself one of these which is a quarter which is a quarter inch screw thread mount I think they call it uh, to GoPro fingers you can get that now because the platform has these two little notches on either side or points on either side which is for the actual ball head from DJI you can either place a rubber washer first then place screw down this mount if you want to do that or you can place a small steel washer that fits between the two points you can either do that or you could be like me and just don't bother with that because you you got such a good screw length anyway on the mounting system up here that even when you screw down on those two points there it doesn't really damage the platform whatsoever and it's not damaging your mount it may have a little bit of a gap there but this is securely screwed down and I don't think it will really uh, interfere with your filming anyway and nor it would make that mount even loose so I wouldn't really bother my conclusion and opinion about this selfie stick overall I think this selfie stick is a good companion for this camera for the action 2 and even the action 3 when it comes out I know people are going to complain about the price but look at it this way take the selfie stick out of the price altogether and focus just on the remote <coughs> excuse me for 50 to 65 pounds for the remote puts it in the same ballpark figure as a GoPro remote or as an Insta360 uh, remote they may be a little bit higher I think Insta360 remote when I paid for mine was about 70 pounds for that remote and for the GoPro remote I think they're between 70 to up to 90 pounds for that remote um, at the time of this video depends where you buy it from 
And then if you go to a third party like Telesun, their remote control to operate the GoPro is around about between 35 to 50 pounds. So look at it that way, that when you're paying for this, that really you're paying for the remote control. And I do like the compact size of that remote. I do like that. As I says to you in the video, be aware, make sure that you have a lanyard on that remote because it's so small, you can lose it. I have done a video on the remote. I'll try and leave a banner up there on my video, somewhere on my video, so you can go and see that, how to connect this remote and my thoughts on this remote. If I don't leave the banner, because my laptop is ancient, uh, just look in the playlist on my channel under miscellaneous gear and the video will be there. So personally, I'm gonna keep this, I like this remote, uh, um, remote, I like the remote, I like the selfie stick and I like the compact size, especially for vlogging. If you don't wanna be one of these people that announces to the world that you, as you're vlogging, I'm a vlogger, the size of this thing, and even when it's fully extended out, it's not in intrusive, it's not in people's faces that you're doing it, it's a nice compact length, even when fully extended. So yes, I'm gonna keep this, and I suggest that if you have this camera and you like this camera, or even if you like the DJI Action 3, I say get this remote. It does have its little bad bits about it, as I stated, and make sure that when you do bring this with you, bring a wipe to wipe this handle, because it is a dust magnet. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. I perfectly understand. Sometimes my videos can be long or they can be short, but I like to go into the detail so when you buy the item or the product, you know what to expect. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.